Hi, my name is Greg Jones. I'm the Director of Team Security for the Milwaukee Bucks. Hi, my name is Danny Carter. I'm the Assistant Director of Team Security with the Milwaukee Bucks. And today, and today is game, is game day. So here at game day today, we're playing the Houston Rockets. Uh, we just transported over from the hotel because of health and safety protocols, we're now using four buses. So we'll put the players on two buses, our coaches on a bus, and the rest of our support staff on another bus. We have our connections with local law enforcement, with team security, with the uh, uh, director of uh, arena security. Uh, we are also locked in with uh, NBA security in New York on any incidents that may be happening throughout the whole country. Uh, these things kind of help us along the way to make sure that we can move this team in a safe manner at all times. We are over at the Rockets practice facility. We'll probably be here for the next hour, hour and 15 minutes. And then we'll roll back to the hotel where we'll have lunch. Uh, the guys will get some rest and we'll get ready for game day later on tonight. So about Danny and Greg, the best uh, security team in the entire NBA and probably all the professional sports. Oh man, they're just, well, what can I say about them that already hasn't been said? They make sure you feel safe, obviously, you know, as NBA guys, you'd want to go grab a bite to eat in a different city or something, go well, out, have something to eat and, and come back home, not be, you know, kind of surrounded by others. And I think Danny and Greg have done a great job of that. You know, when we come out to get ready to leave for a game, a lot of times we have autograph seekers. Because of the COVID rules that we're dealing with right now, uh, we've currently tried to push the fans back and away. Just step back a little bit, he's coming down. As the rules have started to kind of go down and relax a little bit, some of our players really enjoy coming over and signing autographs, especially for the young kids and everything else. We try to keep a safe distance. Uh, we usually try to use our own pins so the player is not moving around using different people's pins. Uh, we have hand sanitizer so the player can use hand sanitizer afterwards. When they do pictures, we always enforce to try to have the player stand a little bit of a distance away to take the picture if that's going to be the case. Honestly, you know, I just, I feel safe whenever they're around. You know, they just give you that aura of protection, you know, and because they're so fearless and courageous, you can be that way too. You know, honestly, I'd walk down, we're in Houston right now, I'd walk down the darkest alleyway in Houston. 30 minutes after midnight. And if I'm with them, I, I'm good. I'm safe. I know whatever's gonna go on, whatever's gonna go down, I'm gonna be okay. Pre-game, what we're looking for is uh, any unauthorized uh, court intrusions. So once we're out on the court, players out on the court, our main concern is their safety. Our top priority during the course of the game is just to make sure that the guys while they're out there playing it, they don't get involved into an altercation uh, that's, uh, that can become uh, physical, violent, uh, cause a lead to maybe come in and impose penalties or fines against the guys. What we do is uh, we're listening for uh, critical conversations. And critical conversations by I mean is that some of the guys may, you know, be arguing or some may uh, uh, jibber jab back and forth to each other by saying, you know, uh, certain comments. So that may move to something, you know, more aggressive, like maybe an altercation or a fight. Of course, we don't want to see anybody get hurt. We assist the referees uh, right away if we see any type of altercation. Uh, they give us carte blanche to come onto the court in, in that event. That's the only time that we come on the court. Inside the square, that's, that belongs to the guys. Outside the square, we're just trying to protect the line and make sure that they're taken care of. On the outside of the line, we utilize uh, 
arena director uh, and his security staff to maintain the crowd uh, from, from any issues that may occur. And, and his whole staff also post up at various points throughout the whole floor just to make sure that we're there, that the guys are playing in a safe position. You know, they make sure things are secure uh, in road locker rooms, you know, valuables that you have, your wallet, you know, jewelry, whatever it might be. Um, you know, they lock it up while we're out on the court. Uh, if anything happens on the court, they got our back. Even with, even with, you know, microscopic enemies like, like you know, like COVID and the coronavirus, they're always there handing out masks, protecting us, they got disinfecting everything. We want to make sure that the interactions between the players are minimal. You know, due to the COVID uh, protocols and whatnot, we want to make sure that each player has a, a mask and properly mask and uh, keeping that distance. But obviously, you know, the players have friends uh, from the opposing team they want to interact with. We just want to kind of give them a friendly nudge or reminder to say, hey, just remember about the protocols for COVID. They just do a really good job of kind of incorporating um, the things that you need in life from a security standpoint uh, to how it incorporates into our lives. And I think uh, they play a big part in why we're able to perform. People don't see it, but the off the court stuff kind of allows us to be free and work, focus on working on things that will translate on the court. Well, one, you always feel safe with them. But two, they're, they're more so like friends to us. Um, anywhere we go, we just call them up. They, they roll with us. Anything we need, they take care of it for us. They're always looking out for us. Um, honestly, they make everyday life for us around here like extremely easy. We're using four buses to move the team from uh, the arena back to the airport. Uh, on our arrival at the airport, we'll check in with uh, GSC, who is a ground security coordinator with Delta. Uh, they will check everybody on board to the plane off of their manifest. Danny or I will board the plane first. Uh, we will talk to the flight crew, which consists of the captain and co-captain, uh, and the flight attendants to advise them uh, how many people. Of course, they would always already know, but we let them know how many people are coming on board, what kind of time schedule we're running, uh, if there's any special requirements that we need or anything like that for security wise uh, like i said we'd love to go up and talk to the captain uh, to let him know exactly what kind of uh, time frame we're looking at so that they're on, on board with what we're going to try to do whatever is possibly against us or trying could be trying to harm us or take advantage of us they're there for us i, I appreciate that thank you danny and Greg. the most underappreciated part is honestly how how well they connect to us People think, all right, they're security and they're just there to protect us, which, which they are. But at the end of the day, we can go to them and talk to them about anything we have going on in life, good or bad. And those guys are always the ones that are with us. Like anywhere you look, anywhere you see our players, you always see them with us. So um, I think that's the most unappreciated thing is how well they can connect to us and how well they relate to us.